Guys, I'm going back to Farming Simulator 2015 for another mod uh, sh showcase. Uh, today, today we're going to be looking at the bear trailer you see in front of us. Let me get out this tree. And it is the AW trailer uh, UBT auto loading. So, um, let's hop out there and give a look at it. And we've gotten this trailer. I suppose we should pull out first. Yes, that would be a good idea. So let me just pull out here. So, note where I have it parked. And we'll come back to that in a minute. Okay, now let's hop out and give a look at it. So, it's a trailer by AW Traders. Um, no, I haven't actually looked at it closely before, so let's give a look around. It looks good, we can't collide through anything. And uh, we can jump up on it. Uh wheels off the ground. Hmm. Okay. Uh working lights. There is working lights in even. Um <coughs> uh, floor could use a bit of texturing to be fair. Or a bit of weld here and there, you know, to say those plates. Um well it's okay. It's not bad. Um so, and it's got hydraulic pipes for I don't know what reason. Are they hydraulic pipes? Maybe they're airlines, maybe. So, we'll give a look at it in the shop next. So, we'll go to our mods and go to Benetech, and it just so happens to be here because I have bought it. <coughs> so, it's the AW Traders, um, AW Trader, 42 feet bale trader. Um, yeah. You're translating bales. So, as I said, it's an auto-loading trailer. Now, the script doesn't just load uh, round bales and square bales, or either or. It also loads pallets of wool, um, sapling pallets, um, pallets of, uh, what are they called? Pallets of planks, I believe they're called, I'm not sure if that's the correct name, of the sawmill mod. Um, very useful. And I think there's a few other things, but we can check that out in just a moment. Sorry, uh, price is uh, 9,500 euros, which seems a bit cheap. A bit cheap, but that's fine, not outrageous. 3 euros a day to maintain. Yeah, yeah, sounds okay. Um, so let's get out of that. Um, decently well modeled, and the floor is just so bland. Uh, yeah, that's about it, so we'll hop in. Um, so I'm viewing this on the Chillington Extended Map. Why am I putting it on this map? Because, um, it's a 42 foot trailer. It's not going to be maneuverable, but for some reason, this is actually maneuverable, to some degree, for 42 feet. I.e., why I backed it in there, to demonstrate that it is somewhat maneuverable for its size. So, we're going to drive it down to um, a field where I have uh, long square bales made. I won't be testing anything else. I'm just going to assume. Because I cannot be bothered to make wool and I don't know where you buy saplings on this map. And just more effort in general. So, Sorry now, I've habit of mind of driving in cab. Um, let me just hop out of cab and we'll see how we maneuver as we go. I've done a JCB so we can make this uh, trip a bit uh, quicker than we would normally. So I'm going to take the back road. This is why I'm taking the long way. If anyone knows this map, brilliant map now. It's a tight map, but it's not ridiculously tight. It's it's pretty good. It's pretty evenly well balanced you can fit a big combine around mainly uh, pretty okay so first challenge easy car thank you car do you not see I have a 40 foot trailer on uh oh I'm cutting the hedge hedges in this map are not nice okay oh no we could be in big trouble could be a take two Uh, I'm going to put on that, and we're going to try and, well, as I 
so nicely told you here it can take 27 round bales let me just drop that so and we're completely jammed in here so uh, what am I going to do <laughs> what am I going to do stupid cars Okay, well this has gone terribly wrong. Thank God no repair came the other way. Okay, so problem over. So this is a rather tight bend. Gonna go in. Staying in view. And it makes it relatively easy. It did go off the road, but like it's 40 foot. Um, take around these bends. Okay, precision controlling here. Not my speciality. So you know, it, it makes it around. Like this is a fairly narrow road. Uh, some people wouldn't even like to drive this in a car. You know, so there's that. It's relatively easy to get around considering it's 40 foot. So if you are on a small map, um, you could probably still use this if you had a big enough yard. You will need a quite a size of a yard to turn it, to be fair. And yeah, it works. It just, just works pretty, really well. So, let me... Our final kind of real test here. We're out on the main road. Can't stop. Let me see how badly we did that. So taking all the room we have, because we really do need it. Once again, just kind of half clipping two or three feet of the apex. So not too bad. So we just take this to the um, to the uh, field, which is field 15. If that means anything to anyone who knows this map. Um, also, it becomes in a full variety of colours. The whole spectrum of you know in-game stuff. So there is that, and there's a cool feature if you stick around till the very end that I want to show you, which is just not a feature, but like it just ha so happens to be there, so it happens to work. So stick around till the end, or skip forward, or whatever you want to do. Uh, I hit a car. Of course, I hit a car. I never realised how rough the inside was here. Not that I'd be driving it, you see. Right. Um, so, we're going to pull in here, and we're in the field. Now I'm going to turn on my F1 help. So, you hit number 5 to turn on the thing. I've already hit it to turn on my diff lock. So, there we go again. Um, so, you can toggle what you want to load. So, we've got round bales. Sorry, square bales, round bales, wool pallets, seeding pallets, seeding pallets, uh, border pallets, board pallets, sorry, my bad, and square bales again. So, yeah. Seeding pallets. What the hell are seeding Okay, I don't know what seeding pallets are. So, we want round bales. You do have to load it manually. I don't know how you change that. Um, nope, I uh, can't see any control for that, so you ha you drive up alongside it, and you hit B. Uh, I'm going to check now, does it work on both sides? And how far away does it work from? Oh, that's a nice thing. Okay, I didn't actually realize that, that was my bad. So, we have two different sizes of bale because I used the well, I can't see him from here. I use a crone ultima to make this and I didn't set the bale before I started so I had a bigger bale to start. We'll see. So it'll take all sizes of bale. That is a nice feature. So that was a problem with the in game bale trailer. Auto bale trailer. It um it wouldn't take all sizes of bale. Now, I don't know how many bales I have when I did one lap of the field because it takes a long time. 
to do one lap of the field. And I wanted to get this uh, video up fast so that I could be the first person to have the video up about this trailer. And this is the first kind of auto loading trailer I've seen, not that I've been looking for them. But it's looking good so far, it's able to pick up bales at any speed. So you can just drive around the field like a lunatic and pick up bales, like so. So this would really speed up uh, your bale collecting time. So all you have to do is get the fastest track you can and mash on B. So we're just going to do one lap of the field here. It's a rather large field. And see how many bales we can muster. Zoom out a bit, and let's get back on our button. Oh my, this thing is very long. I, d I didn't realize it was so long. Okay. I thought we might fill this for a second, but no. Uh, well, we'll get to the second row. I hope, I'm hope i hoping to get to the second row also. So I can... Um, can, I can just show the thing. Nope, we can't set that. That's fine. So, we have 15... Oh, sorry, I can hold 30 round bales. So it'll just take two rows side by side. No? How does it do that? 16, 17, 18, 9, 28, 5. I don't know how it loads them. There'll be 15 up now, it's saying. And then there'll be 3 more, which will make it 18. And there'll be one in the middle, which would make 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 45. That'll only make 25. I don't understand where the other five bales go. If it was too wide, then it would um, it would uh, do other things. Do you know what? I'm going to make a few more bales, and I'll be back, and see. we'll see what happens. So, pardon me. Uh, okay, I have a good few bales made. Um, I did make them in the smaller size to make sure that we could definitely get 30 bales. So, I should have loaded in that. So, fingers on the button. And then we just need to fly around to the end, so it won't take too long. Zoom out again. Uh, where's the button? Where's the button? Ooh. Okay, so. But how? Don't understand. Right, it, here's where I started making smaller bales again, so it steps in a bit funny, I guess, but whatever. Uh, and it, while I was being, it did give me a bit of time to think about this, and, um, well, it's no wonder that he added in the script to accept all of these bales. This baler is the winner of the mod competition 2015, so, like, it's only... It, like it's a massive mod, a lot of people have it. Why wouldn't you add script in? Twenty-four. Okay. How did I count this wrong? I don't know. Ooh, bail, bail, bail. Sorry, bail. My bad, bail. All right. And I it was a good decision of mine to go with the smaller bales. Okay, how the hell did I count that wrong? I just don't know. I just don't know. So I also I want to test uh, where does this trigger start in? So like there? Okay, so it's like the whole length of the thing. And we're one bale short. Of course we are. But it looks fine from this side. Mainly. Ooh, that's a hot air balloon. Okay, so we've got a load of round bales. Let's just leave them not locking them tractors. Let's leave it here in the corner. Easy. And there. And now we'll go grab some square bales and see what this looks like when it is full. So we need five again. And we're going to be loading square bales, yes. It just assumes that people like square bales. And people like square bales because they're easier to work with. I missed that bale. I will get it next time. 
Let me come around. So let's see how it loads these things. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay, that was my bad. I was hitting the wrong button. Uh, there is this rather small turning circle also in this, but that gives you plenty of room for correction when you're backing, at least. Okay, so let's get this up to speed. Um, also, another thing to know as well, it does wobble when you get up to speed, like some things can, so it's well designed. Tractor's dying back a small bit, and there's a bale here I know because it just had to come out. I'm working on the combine in an awkward position, so that I hit it eventually, but I didn't. So I'd like to fill the floor and just get the second layer started to see to the crisscross. I believe it does, now I can't be certain though. And, ooh, 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 easy. Um, on the note of round bales versus, versus square bales, this chair can take more straw, but more, more, more bale, more bale uh, in round bales because um, slow down, slow down, oh dear. okay, just take it in there. Um, even if you're using four thousand unit bales uh, on boat, you do get. Um, you do get 30 on the round side and only 27 on the square side. So that's another thing for you to think about when you're considering what you're going to get to bail with. I am hitting the brake. Why am I hitting the brake? I'm not hitting the brake. What the hell? Okay. I don't know. Oh, I must hit the space bar. And we'll get this fellow that I missed. So let's just unload them right here. Let's go into an open space so we can see where her, what's happening. And uh, in back right trailer left trailer. Okay, so we'll say we want to. Unload at the back, I guess. See how that does. Uh, okay. Presumably, if you did decide to do the exact same. So, let's turn you off. And let's turn back to you. And we're going to take this back to the yard and see can we actually fit it in our yard with some kind of measure of um, dignity. Let's go with that. So we've got a full load up now, and I can feel the weight, so it's properly weighted. There's a bit of weight there, it's not ridiculous. Um, another thing I should have checked, but didn't think of it until now, is whether you can actually put bales there on, on yourself, and if it'll have like the regular old giant slocking script or something, because that would be another feature, you know, if you didn't want to draw them in like this. If you want to load like maybe an odd load here and there and just bring them in yourself rather than getting them this way because this is handy but realistically you this doesn't happen so we'll see now uh, oh there's a good test up actually up this road and it's called a bridge not that one not the suspension bridge there is a humpback bridge here and we'll see do we get grounded and stuck because if it gets stuck well that's that's it for this episode kind of uh, wee, 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 wee. Okay, let's see how we do. Ooh, grounded. Whoop, we made it somehow. We made it somehow. That's all that matters. So, let's bring it on this way. Uh, let's see what we are. We are clearance wise. Good on clearance. Not too bad anyway. Could have been better, could have been worse. And let's go in. So we've seen what the back looks like. 
so we're gonna go with left or right, one or the other. Whichever is more convenient in the moment, because I believe what we'll do is we'll stop there. We'll back it in to here. I can't see. Thank you very much. And we're gonna unload on the let's see. Um is that his right? So right side and unload and pretty nice, pretty nice. Bit of jiggling around, but that's because their physics came back to life. Uh that bale uh, sorry I can't see you. That bale there, second on screen. He did fall in through their bales, but that might not necessarily be the bale trailer's fault. Uh, makes a lovely stack of them, to be fair. And yeah, works pretty well. Works pretty well. So the cool feature which I want to show you is we need to just buy a tractor for this purpose, and we need to tap to said tractor. And you can make flags with the traders, even though I should be looking at this. So I made the Irish flag because Ireland. So green, white, and gold. And yep, that's my cool little feature, which I know has because they mesh together perfectly. Uh, I should have mentioned, and I'm very sorry that I didn't, that the indicators work, the lights work, the brake lights work, everything works. All those lights light up. So. Yep, and that's about it. They do clip together here in the back if you buy two of them, for whatever reason. That you need two of them, because you can transport some serious bales with these. So thanks everybody for watching. Um, I would rate this bale trailer, hmm, what would I rate it? Uh, works perfectly, nothing wrong with it. Uh, so 10 out of 10 there, uh, modeling, 7. So that averages out to be like what? Um eight, eight and a half out of ten. Is there a little bit of work in there? Mm. Eight eight uh, and a eight and a half out of ten for this mod. I would recommend it. The link will be in the description. The link is to FSUK where that will link you to once again to another site. Or perhaps I'll just put that site in there in the first place. So, thanks everybody for watching, and we'll see you on my next mod showcase, where we will probably be doing God knows what, because I'll tell you when I see something I like. So, bye guys.